can you write an overview of the whole code? It's loading for writing for so long. Uh, ChatGPT became uh, slower, much slower. Clear. Yeah, I'm using this uh, voice wave ChatGPT voice control thing. So yeah, when I say yep, it should send a message. When I say clear, it should clear the text window. Clear. And it actually works most of the time if I speak properly into the microphone. Clear. Okay, now it doesn't. Clear. 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 Okay, this is still generating forever. So that's what the application currently looks like. It's loading some EEG data from file. You can uh, check it out in the uh, EEG noise removal or spectrogram on the page. This is the same data. It has a seizure in it. That's the quiet after the storm, after the seizure. You can uh, scroll through it in the CG. It's on IEG.org. I think anyone can download. I think it just requires a basic uh, registration. This particular data set has uh, seizures in it. That's what they look like. It's real EG. I know sometimes things like this look a bit fakish, but uh, no, those are seizure spikes. Check them in here. Um, try and reduce noise in it, which this tool does that using wavelet transforms but now we're trying to turn this into music for various reasons well one possible use case is uh, being able to review eeg just by listening to it and you don't want to be listening to sinusoids because it's uh, annoying noisy it will just sound like noise so you might as well turn it into music or well when i say music it might not be perceived as music, but instead of sinus, it's actually using musical notes. So notes like this, uh, it's just for testing. So actual F sharp 6 or G6. Uh, this code, which GPT-4 generated for us, will actually convert, do a conversion using an interpolation. That's the general idea. I'm getting all sorts of um, errors with it. Many to do with the fact that the frequency components and not be directly translated into a musical note because it will be essentially outside the range of a typical uh, piano for example now here we're using a grand uh, grand piano so that interpolation well it does work but generating this the algorithm cannot find these particular notes i'm not sure if it's because they're not defined here um, we're having this other error as well, which is meant to prevent us sending the same thing multiple times. So let's solve this one first. That's the error description. She don't have the function clear, clear. This doesn't work. Clear. Right, it did work. Yeah, it's a hit and miss. It must be my pronunciation that the bot is not picking up. So are we trying to define our own debounce function? Don't we have a debounce available somewhere already? And in the use of the function, we have debounce update data and convert to music in a 500 millisecond delay. That looks good. Also data slider. Okay, that air is gone. Yeah, I'm still getting the buffer note. So the notes would not play. Yeah, so the idea is that this uh, EEG, real EEG, will be translated into musical notes. Let's reduce the window size for a sec. So as you scroll through the EEG file, it will convert it to, well, music. I'm not saying it will sound like music, but it will be converted to actual uh, musical uh, font uh, called Grand Piano. So it will be converted into something like this. But we're having all these errors coming through. Audio context was not allowed to start. We'll try to resolve it both by using GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT, GPT-4, modern browsers, security. Yeah, I like how uh, GitHub Copilot already gives a uh, resolution. Uh, yeah, GPT-4 does the same and more. Yeah, so some sort of browser feature. They generate updated uh, was it main main JS? Yeah, we need to handle an audio context because I'm getting this warning that the audio context is not allowed to start. 
unless uh, there is an interaction uh, with the page let's make the window size smaller again try this again the main problem is that well we can't hear those notes that's obviously because uh, of this comment here the buffer for note is not found yes i thought we're not using the web uh, media anymore because that was generating a file right so it sounds like we won't be able to bypass security of modern bar browsers and we kind of don't want to anyway so we we'll have to implement this so this at least should get rid of this audio context uh, warning thing the music is still running let's reduce the window size this should already play uh, some notes it's not doing it i can't hear anything and get the following yes it's grand piano well i mean that's why it's called grand piano it should have a wider range of uh, notes i'm pretty sure it's working okay because we have this button for testing is uh, actually playing sound we will definitely we need some troubleshooting it's doing a 1D linear interpolation. So we have a window size of 10, selecting another region of the EG. The nodes are B5. It's generated twice. It's playing okay. This audio context thing is not being uh, used correctly. We regenerate whole AJS. Yes, this is updated. The JavaScript loading piano, loading this grand piano, so it should have all the keys. That error that we were getting should uh, go away. Yeah, fetching EG, updating the data. This is happening when you're scrolling, plotting the data, converting to music, it's using an our function. This should be legit. Yeah, the debounce function should prevent the, the user from uh, clicking too many times. We know the piano is working, the EG is working, it's loading okay, but we're still having this uh, issue with the buffer not found. Avoid reinitializing the piano or the audio context multiple times. Okay, how do I actually do that? Edit this uh, if if condition window piano buffers note. Okay, so that message is actually coming from the code, so that's good to know. Play next note, document get. Element by ID, this should be the same. Document event list now loaded, load piano, deep bounce. Now nope. still skipping, and the piano is still working with B5. I need that prompt, that's a comment. I'll try copilot as well. So we're doing explain this so it has uh, access of that prompt into copilot as well. The issue might be that the audio data for the node V5 has not been loaded when you are trying to play it. It's not finished loading. But ensure that the piano sound is fully loaded before trying to play a note. But that, that code is actually working. That's what I said, didn't I? Window piano play V5 is working okay. Yeah, GitHub Copilot doesn't have the context. Yeah, GPT-4 is not giving an answer, but uh, at least it understands what I'm uh, trying to do. Yeah, let's do some more troubleshooting. Yeah, I'm going in circles. Obviously, it does have C6. So now we're doing B5. Let's do C6. Yeah, not loaded. Now the sound font is okay. Loading is okay. To restructure this code, it should be playing these tones. Yeah, let's start a new chat quickly. So we have the prompt at the bottom as well. Let's just continue. Yeah, other notes work, yeah, work okay. I meant continue with debugging. Yeah, that's probably the best advice. Probably gonna get penalized for long prompts. Probably gonna get a timeout. Yeah, there seem to be an issue of how we actually using this JavaScript for playing sounds. Try to understand what's the difference between the mean JS and the regular JS. So it is using a uh, median node numbers. Okay, we also get got a timeout from GPT-4, as expected. There's no option to regenerate though. You can install SoundFund Player via NPM or include it directly in your HTML. Loading an instrument, JavaScript copy code SoundFund, instrument, AC, clavinet, then function, clavinet. 